What you wanna know? Yeah. How you just, all right, what's up? Alright, I'm Lauren, what you got? Alright, I'm I'm Reject. Reject. Reject, man. Happy Town Rays. Yeah. I am a, a music manager. I am a promoter. I am a mentor. I am a public speaker. I am a one-on-one -on -one basketball trainer. Okay. I mean I'm just saying, you name it, I do it. Jack of all trades. Hey man, master of none. Alright, love yeah. it. How did you get started? <clears throat> What, with, with, well, let's say music. No, all right, let's do that. Let's do that. I, I really got started, like, I really tapped in, let me say that. I've been started, like, like my mom said, like, when she was pregnant with me, I was lit in the womb, real talk. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I was silent for a long time, so I really got started when I, when I found myself and I accepted myself. So, so, about a year ago now, when I started massage school, and I and I tapped in, like I said, and I tapped into my my inner abilities, and I'm here now, and I'm gone with it. Okay. So I'm started in all gas, no brakes, man. Love it. Yeah. Do you have any influences? Man, major influence, man. Shout out to Nipsey, man. Long live Nipsey Hustle, man. One of my greatest influences, man. Like he real life set the blueprint. I'm saying, like, he said in one of his songs, if you follow me. I make you my protege if you pattern my trend, and I've been studying them. So therefore, one of my greatest influences is Nipsey Hussle. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. What's your creative process? Uh, I'm a meditator. You know, I, I have to, I have to, yes. you know, tune the world out and tap into myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and from there, I I deal and I heal, and then I create. Yes, I you know what I'm saying? So I, oh yeah, man. I already knew. I already oh, knew yeah. What's up. Yeah. What's the best work you've done so far? Man, stepping into this role. That's the best work I've done so far. Stepping into who I am. It's on from here. It is. Yeah. What's your current project? Man, I am actually working on a song like, like I went through three tracks, right? I went through three tracks, but it was one that really found me, you know what I'm saying? It, it caught my undivided attention. Because like I said, I'm healing, so I decided to be vulnerable. So right now, my current project is titled, I'm gonna use the, uh, the letters, you know what I'm saying? WTF Love. Okay. That's that's my current project, WTF Love. All right, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Man, what is it? <laughs> what is love? Right. If yeah. you weren't an entertainer, what would you be? Fake. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. I wouldn't be my, my true authentic self, man. Like, right. I was put here as, as well as my team. Like, we came into that knowledge of, like, yo, we're here for a reason, man. Like, the entertainment is natural. Like, right. so, yeah. Okay. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? Ugh. Let me see. Probably, it probably would be like going on vacations with my siblings. Cause I, I grew up like an only child, you know, cause my siblings were way older than me and my parents were older. So if, if it weren't for my siblings, I'd be stuck at the crib. You feel me? Right. In the house board. You feel me? So it would probably be that, like going on trips with my siblings. How many siblings do you have? Uh, I have, all right, I'm gonna break it down for you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have, Alive, I have two that's still alive. Mm -hmm. That's my mom's and my dad's. Mm -hmm. But then you know, Papa was a Rolling Stone, so he has two more. So I have four that's alive. Mm -hmm. But then my two sisters, one of which she she passed away in 017. Shout out to my sister. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and and her twin passed away before her, like in, in infancy. So it was what a total of seven of us with my dad and five with my parents. Yeah, together. Oh yeah. Man. 
What would be your I made it moment? Or do you feel like you're already here? I'm already here. You're already here. I'm already here. Yeah. Out gas, no brakes, man. Right. We take one man. No stop. We here. Yeah. Making your mark already. Man, we here. If you could give entertainers all over one piece of advice, what would it be? <sighs> be yourself. Fall in love with yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like really fall in love with yourself. Because once you do that, the only person stopping you is you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I say every morning, you look at you in the mirror. You feel me? You don't, you don't owe anybody anything. It, it's like be yourself. Don't be fake. That's, that's what I would tell you. Be yourself, man. How has COVID-19 had an impact on your career? Man, it, first of all, it, it, it made me become unemployed when I was working for them people. But then I decided to really, yeah, for them people. But then I really, I really decided to tap into myself. So I started winning, you know what I'm saying? Like in COVID-19, I started winning. Like, like, I don't really like, I ain't, man, with some partners of mine, like I'm still like in question mark with it, but I opened the lounge, you know what I'm saying? With, with, with my team, we started creating music, man. So like COVID had no impact on me. Just you feel me? Man, positive. man, we, we grew. Okay. You feel me? We grew. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, man. I like to hear that about a lot of artists. Hey. Like the real from the fight, man. It's celebration. Okay. Yeah. How are you going to change the world? Man, I'm glad I watched, man. Nipsey is my inspirer, right? He's my inspiration. And he said it best, man. <clears throat> man, by being unreasonable. Because Nipsey said that a reasonable man tries to conform to the world. But an unreasonable man, he's persistent and, you know what I'm saying, trying to get the world to conform to him. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because, 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 and in and, and the process, that makes the process up to the unreasonable man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because you're in control of your, only yourself. You can't tr control the world without controlling yourself. That's true. So that's how I'm going to change the world, by being unreasonable well, and, and controlling you. myself. Who you are. Yeah. All right. Why should people follow and support you? Cause I know the way. <laughs> That's why. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now a little fun question. All right. I like fun. <laughs> What's one of your favorite comedy TV shows of all time? Man, see, I ain't that fun. <laughs> no, nah, like. Oh man. What? Or just regular TV show? You don't have a. I'm just. Number. Man, I like I like documentaries. Like I like I like stuff that make me smart. I'm, I'm just being funny. Like, but I do have a humor, so I, I like I like I like like I don't know. I'm rapping. I like I like like man. I don't. I like Martin though. Martin dope. He funny. He always funny. Um, I like watching some of the news. Is funny. I'm, I'm just saying. Yo, that's my thing. The news. That's my comedy right there. Shout out to the news, WIS, man. Call Darcy Strickland, man. The news, man. That's my final answer. What's one of your favorite movies of all time? Favorite movies? Mm -hmm. I'ma let you guess. I'ma I'm I'm give you I'ma give you one guess first, and then I'ma tell you if you don't get it right. How about that? Okay. Set it up. Set it off. Is that your answer or his? I'm asking. I'm asking. I feel like the universe called that for him for me to hear that. So set it off, you think? Yes. <laughs> Y'all don't know me, man. Love Jones, man. Okay. okay. Love Jones. Yeah, I'm going to reject for a reason, man. People look and they think, like, but they don't. You got to open the whole book. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's currently on your music playlist? You already know. Hey, Lil, um, Tupac, Aru Mazda, Sim Panada, uh, Kwame, um, Chris Mohead, Will Salter, uh, man, um, Kuz Kota Fool. Uh, man, I can go on and on and on, man. Shout out to the Carolina artists. Right. Yeah. Give it up for them. Give it up, man.
Shout out to how low for this platform. If you could work with one creative, who would it be? Donnie Hathaway. Why? He inspired me as well. But but like it's just the the magnitude that he brought, like I don't think people heard him. You feel me? Like, like Donnie spoke from uh, from the soul. Like he spoke from the soul, man, and and that's where I come like that's where I create from. You know what I'm saying? I, I create from my dark place. You know what I'm saying? And I just unleash the dragon, you feel me? So yeah, Donnie Hathaway, man. Alright. Yeah. What place in the world would you love to visit? Um, Egypt. Ooh, me too. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Egypt. I need to hop out for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. We going, man. Let's go. We already there. Yeah. <laughs> How can people follow and contact you? Oh, man. Rashika Davis on uh, Facebook. That's R-O-S-H-E-K-A Davis, D-A-V-I-S. Uh, Davis underscore girl 37 on snapchat and then davis underscore girl 36 on instagram don't ask me how i keep up with that but yeah i'm gonna get it all together man but that's how you can follow me i got twitter as well but i i'll get that to you all right who was your celebrity crush Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Neil Long. Man, she's supernatural and like she's beautiful. Now I got a new crush. Hey, I'm single. Yeah, that part. Yeah. Hey, man, we being transparent, man. We let things go. We healing and dealing. Yeah. Let's go. Neil Long, man. Shout out to Neil Long. Don't edit that out either. <laughs> Alright, you told us who you, one of your influences were. Now, who is your inspiration or does that kind of correlate? It, it, no, no. Man, I, it, it does, but it doesn't. But, like, I'm inspired by my mother, who is no longer here, and my sister, who is no longer here. Like, yo, that's my inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Like, all gas, no brakes. I'm here. Yeah, man. Yo. Right. What would you like to be remembered about you? Man, that I was real. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't nothing fake about it. You know, I want people to remember that. And I say it every morning. I love y'all. And I mean that ish. I want people to remember that. Like, for real. Right. Yeah. Ain't nothing fake about it. Do you sing in the shower? I do, because I sound better in the show. <laughs> Everybody yeah. In the show. <laughs> you saying in the show? I do. All right. All right. <laughs> where did you go? Did, where, <laughs> sorry, bring back. How you doing? Where did you grow up? Where did I grow up? Mm -hmm. Happy Town, Swansea, South Carolina, Gaston, whatever. It's in the middle. Swansea and Gaston, that's why I just say Happy Town. It's a city by itself. But that's where I grew up. I'm from here, South Carolina. Uh, I thought I was going to be a, a WNBA basketball player. I was super good, you know what I'm saying? But life, I went another direction. But that's what I wanted to be. And what got you into music? Life. Life, <laughs> life creates music, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what really... And, but, but like I, always, I was always like attracted to it mm -hmm. you know as a kid like I said my mom said in the womb I was lit you know right. but and I was attracted to music but coming from where I come from like you know that, that ain't gonna happen so what you talking about that for and that's about like playing ball you know but I really thought I could make it there I ain't tapping to the music cuz that ain't gonna happen that's just funny game so I, I you know I didn't really yeah like I, 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 I did with and dabble but like life comes back full circle and like i say once you walk in and accept who you are how you can't run from it so you got to just walk into it man yeah do you have performance anxiety i do yeah i, I get nervous how do you handle that i meditate and and i 
And I, and I remember, you know, like, I talked to my artists, man, like, we all bipolar, man. Like, when she couldn't hear, Reject is here. And Reject is here to, Reject is here to, to be Reject, you feel me? So, yeah, that's how, I'm in character. So, hey, Reject here, man. What is one message you would like to give to your friends, your fans? Man, be the best version of yourself. Don't don't try to uh, follow the crowd. Again, like Nipsey say, man, stay in your lane. There's no traffic there. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Do you. So hey, that's it. Okay. Hey, follow me. Share and tell your friends. I need more friends and fans. That part. That part. <laughs> <laughs> one last question. All right. Would you like to perform? I am. All right. Yeah. Let's get into it. Give it up for you, Jack. Yeah. Appreciate you giving up for Arnold, man. That's all y'all getting from me, man. That's all y'all getting from me, Cole.